welcome back to Professor Adam's Science Project. And you're in for a real treat today, because guess who I have? The one and only Professor G! Everybody have a round of applause, yay! Hello, viewers. There's no one even there. Oh, right And today we are looking at the three states of matter getting changed with things that we have at home. And there's three states of matter, which are liquid, solid and gas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, Professor S. I have to criticise you on that one. There are actually five states of matter, including plasma, which is created <clears throat> by adding energy onto gas. It's pretty amazing. And, and the fifth plasma. state of matter is Bose-Einstein. And I'm not quite sure what that is, but don't worry. We will look at that in a later date. Wow, that is some excellent facts! So let's get to it! Yay! Alright, so right now we are going to be looking at the main three states of matter, not go to Mr. G. Um, first of all, we'll be starting with the definition of a solid. A solid is lots of atoms tightly packed together and has a fixed volume and a fixed shape. So, the atoms cannot move around, or, but they can vibrate. Next we so look at liquids. We are doing liquid, which is made of molecules which are atoms that aren't, are not tight, as tightly packed as they are in a solid, so they can move around a bit, and they can, the particles can actually slide over each other, but they keep the same volume, which is everything that's in here, so the same measurement and but they don't take the same shape they're going to change shape depending on what container they're in I'll prove this right now it may seem taller but it isn't because this is thinner and now we are going on to gas I don't need a sample of gas because I don't need that gas Professor S so gas is all around us it is it is in the air, well it is air, and it is oxygen, and it is e, it is e, <laughs> and gas, gas even sometimes smells, in your case, Mr. S, or Professor S, and so, the molecules in gas can be move, can move freely, and to have no fixed volume, or fixed shape. Now we are going to do plastic milk. By the way, plastic milk is made by the chemicals used in vinegar m mixing with the milk. Just a fact there. This is how you make plastic milk. This cup full of milk. And first, you will put it into the microwave or whatever you are cooking with and May, maybe there until, not quite until it's boiling. Now we will add vinegar to the hot milk. They are <coughs> curds. 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 Which is what we need to make the mould. Too big, Professor S. Um, what about this one? That'll be fine, thank you. Pour it in, come and pour it in, sir. Now we will leave this to dry for a few days, for and then we can mould it. So we're using corn flour, and I bet you're asking, why corn flour? I'll tell you why, because it's a non-Newtonian liquid, which is a liquid that turns us to a solid when you apply pressure, like, like quicksand. I was going to say sand. Very right, Professor S. Now I will add the water to the corn flour. Now... What you can do is you can roll it into a ball and then set it on your palm and let it dribble away and then grab it 
roll it into a ball and then let it dribble away. It's amazing what non-Newtonian liquids can do. Well, How does it work? It works because there's the, the cornflower is, ha, has big particles within the water. So when I move slow, when I move my finger slowly, the particles can keep up with the water. But then when I move my finger fast, the, the liquid is faster than the particles, which makes the particles bunch up together. And I want to show you something pretty cool. Because if you just leave it on its own, it turns into a liquid when you squeeze it. It's a solid. Pretty amazing. I do agree with you there. Now, it is a week later, and now we are going to look at the results of the plastic milk. As you see here, they are basically rock hard. The result of turning a liquid milk in this instance, into a solid, which is milk plastic. Due to the chemical reaction from milk and vinegar. <clears throat> right now, we are going to go on to the raw egg. Well, this is a raw egg, but we're going to be doing the egg. But I bet you're wondering why I'm doing an egg, because it stays, this is a solid right now. But, there's li the insides is liquid, and then when you boil it, it, the inside turns solid, making it harder. So we're going to apply some heat to this egg to turn it into a boiled egg, which will turn all the liquid inside solid. Now we're going to put them into boiling water for 10 minutes. on the inside have changed from liquid to solid. We will do an egg roulette! Da, da, da. Okay, go. Oh, you say how. How we will know if the eggs have changed from solid, I mean from liquid, to gas. No, to eggs. solid. Liquid no, to, to solid. solid. You <laughs> Sorry, that one again. <laughs> okay. We probably will be doing something. We'll try another experiment. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, we will.